Okay, so when you first sign into the Spelling Shed Hub, you'll land at the dashboard. If you want to have a look around at the different navigation that you've got in the system, click on the little hamburger icon up here and it tells you some of the things that you can do. Um, the icons obviously do the same thing. So the first job you probably want to do is to add groups. So my groups are here in, in your groups. Um, so I can click on the little uh, groups icon or I can click on the uh, icon in the sidebar. So if I click on that, that gives me my groups. If I want to add a new group, click the little plus at the top right hand corner, give it a group name, uh, let's call this new group. And there we go. Then I can click details to go into it. If I want to do, if I've made a mistake, I want to rename it or delete it, I press the little drop down. Um, I don't, I'm happy, so I'm going to go to details. Okay, so in the group, now this is new groups, this, this is our, our group name. I can change that here. I can associate the teachers who are linked to that group, so I'll add me. Um, so I'm now a teacher for this group. Uh, if I want to add pupils, I can add existing pupils, so I might just have a group. So it may be that I've already got my, pup my pupils set up um, for a class and I want to have an, uh, an intervention group, um, or I might have imported the whole school data and I want to select which pupils go in there. Uh, and I want to add them individually, in which case I just put the name in. If I want to, Oops. Uh, Bob. If I want to, I can set a username, an email, uh, or a password. Um, if you do include those, um, the username might change if it's already in the system because they have to be unique. The email has to be an email, so if it's just gobbledygook, then it'll, the system will reject it. And all passwords have to be six characters or more. Okay, I'm happy with that, so I'll close that again. Um, I can hit submit. And there we go, success, if I close that, there we go, I've got Bob. And his his high score is zero because he's not played because he's new. Um, if I want to um, print his login details, now I can press this print login details button. And that does a printout, and that says his username, that gives me his, his uh, username, his Bob9, and his password is toycow95. And if you've got the app, you can scan the little QR code um, to log straight in through the app. So you can print these out cut them out, stick them in reading records, um, and they're nice and nice and convenient, nice and easy to log in. If you've got loads and loads of data you want to do it all at once, if we hit the plus button again, you can do upload. Um, as a sample CSV file, it's a little bit pernickety because the data has to be in the right place. Um, you need a column with name at the top, um, and then all the people names. But if you follow the sample, and make sure it's saved as a CSV file with commas, rather than any other character delimiting. Then you can drop that in um, and it should import straight away. So if I drop the file in, there we go, tick, it's worked. You can see behind the uh, the pop-up, extra pupils have appeared. Close that and then there we go, we've got another Bob and we've got some test users. So you can see that. And again, if you want to print all of their details, as long as they don't navigate away, um, I can print all their login details. Okay.